As we refactor our code, let's begin by looking at our view for the index page for the users. In other words, a listing of all the users. In the last episode, we just did a copy and paste of these three lines of code so we could create these next three lines of code. And all we did is basically a global search and replace for our success and made it into danger. And that is pretty duplicative. It would probably be more cl um, clean if we could just uh, figure out what all the different types of flash messages are and just iterate through them. So instead of having a long list of if, if, if for all the different kind of flash messages, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through our flash object. So we're going to do um, flash dot each. So we're going to, since it's a hash, we can iterate through each of those elements and access it directly. So we're going to do, and then we're going to do the key, or let's call it the type, and the message. And that is because it's a, a hash, we need to know what the uh, key is for that hash, and then what the value is for that hash uh, is. And so we get we get those here. So let's end that. And in both of these places here, we're just going to create a paragraph. And we're going to do class equals alert. And now here's where the, the first part comes in. When it was a success message, we want the text success. When it was a danger message, we want the text danger. So in these cases here, we want the key into our flash message. And then we want the actual message itself. So we put that message. And then we can close that paragraph right there. Now note this isn't the exact same as here because of two things. One, in, in these cases we checked if this success was nil. Here we didn't have to check if it was nil because it was only going to iterate through there if it had been set. And the second one is we explicitly access flash with the success key. Here we know that this message is what the flash value is at that key. And so we don't have to go into flash again like we did up here. <clears throat> so this is a more succinct way to just go through it. So um, <clears throat> this allows us to have actually multiple flash messages as, as well. But for right now, it just allows us to more quickly go through each flash message. So let's save this and go ahead and run the server and just check and, and see whether or not we can see one of these uh, flash messages show up or we can actually just both of, both of them. So as we uh, wait for the, the server to get started here we can then go to this website and we can go to create a new user and we can create our our bad user creation first and we see the the bad message if we reload it it goes away and we can create a new user let's create testing three here testing three and we will give them a password off screen. And we see that message as well. And when we re reload it, it goes away. So we see that this iteration is able to get both types of messages, both the success and the danger, 
and so we're we feel confident from looking at the web browser that it's correct but that's never should be enough we should always check our tests and make sure that they remain green in order to verify that we haven't broken something that we weren't paying attention to and so now that the tests are running we're gonna see that they all run green and so we have done our first refactoring.